Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I got happy mail in the mail, so I thought I would share with you the unboxing. This is the My Monthly Hero April 2018 card kit. I'm so excited, so we're just going to take a look at this together. This month's theme is like a fiesta theme, so I'm looking forward to making the cards, 10 cards with this kit. Just gonna move the box out of the way and open this pretty little I love that it's wrapped in tissue. I just think it looks it's those little extra touches that that make a card kit fun. <laughs> okay, you get two packages. You get your stamp set that's wrapped up in a really pretty bow. And then you get this next goodie bag here. We're gonna take a look at this one first. Now in this month's kit, you get three sheets of tissue-like paper. It's almost like tissue-like paper, but there's woven fibers in it, and they're 6 by 18 inches, so they're super long. They're doubled up here, but the fibers in it are so neat. So I'm looking forward. I, I think they'll they'll die cut beautifully, actually, because they're a little bit th thicker than tissue paper, so those are going to be fun to play with. You get a real pretty green, a purple, and a teal, and then you in this goodie bag you get three ink cubes. Now these are neat and they actually have the names on there and so you could um, differentiate these from your typical hero hues. But um, you get a yellow, a red, and a teal and they're all fiesta. But I wanted to show you what these do. These are reactive inks. So I have a piece of Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock here and I'm just going to blend. This is the fiesta red. I'm going to blend it on the very top part and it blends beautifully love that. I'm just using my blending tool here and then I'm going to go over it kind of overlapping on the red ink with the Fiesta yellow ink and it's going to create a real pretty orange when you overlap it but they blend so pretty and so nice and then I'm going to go over the bottom portion here with the teal and the teal with the yellow create a really vibrant beautiful green so I am so looking forward to these. These are such bright colors and I, I'm, I'm looking forward to using them. The neat things about the reactive inks here is, um, well, the primary colors for one, so you can make multiple colors. You can create your orange, your green, your purples, so that's fantastic. But when you add water, it actually oxidizes the ink. So it's almost like distress, distress inks. So it's it's, um, comparable. So um, um, it's just the colors with these are so vibrant and pretty. That was my battery. Hang on, I gotta charge my computer. But you can see after I dried it with my heat gun how fantastic that looks. I'm gonna dry it off a little bit more and then I'm gonna add a little bit more water just to give you a little bit more example of what these inks can do. I thought these were so fun and I'm looking forward to playing with them with all the colors. So looks wonderful. Now what I also want to show you that these these inks can do is you can watercolor with them. They blend so beautifully with water. So I'm going to take um, one of my water brushes and I am going to um, pick up the Fiesta Red and I'm going to add it to the bottom portion of this cardstock here. And you can see how beautiful, the red is almost like a pink color. But when you blend it with the yellow, they blend beautifully together. I'm going to clean off my brush and add the teal. The teal is nice and vibrant. And you can see how it just moves perfectly. So these are very versatile inks and I'm so looking forward to playing with them. I'm adding a little bit more red and then a little yellow to create a real pretty orange. So these would be great inks to color in your images with the stamp set. I just thought I'd share how these inks work here. Okay, now we're just going to set our papers back out here along with our ink cubes. And now we're going to take a look at our next goodie bag. And it's wrapped up with two ribbons. These are sheer ribbons. One's a green, one's a purple, and they match the tissue-like paper beautifully. So that's going to be fun. You can create real fun cards with the tissue. 
Now let's take a look at our stamp set. Tons of dies in this stamp set, with the stamp set I should say. And I like how it's always backed on a, a themed paper. So that's real pretty. Okay, let's look at our, the stamp set is gonna be so versatile. Immediately you think Fiesta or Cinco de Mayo, but this is so versatile because you can create birthday cards, you can create thank you cards, you can create fun cards. There's sentiments in there that says looking sharp, you're one hot mama. I thought that was gonna be so fun, especially with the little jalapeno down there. But you have muchos gracias, you have cumpleaños, that means birthday in Spanish, but tons of sentiments. So you can create scenes with the cacti, you can create scenes with the, the fun little mouse and the little dress. Um, with the, you get the little snake with the sombrero. This is going to be a fun kit to play with. Now, these are your coordinating dies. You get 20 of them. So what I like to do when I do an unboxing is just show you guys um, what dies will cut out the certain stamped um, images there. And I skip forward ahead because there are so many to cut out. And actually, almost every element has a die for it. There are a few that do not have the dies that go with it. There's a little jalapeno, love that. But there's a few flourishes, and then there's also the little, um, I think it's like a, a blanket or a, a little design element um, that's really close to that music, um, feel the music sentiment. But other than that, everything has a coordinating die, which is fantastic. And a few of the, the muchos gracias and the many thanks will fit inside that banner perfectly, the way they're swerved. Now you also get a fancy die, and this is beautiful. I'm going to cut it out so you guys can actually see what it looks like. But it has a beautiful floral image along with scallop sides. So this is wonderful. And I did use a shim plate to cut this out because of the intricate de details in this die. But you also get that huge fancy die. So that's everything that came in the April 2018 My Monthly Hero Kit. Um, I'll leave links below to where you can check it out, guys. I will be making 10 cards with this kit. Um, kits usually sell real fast, but um, again, I'll leave links below for you to check out. Um, thank you so much for stopping by, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye. Have a great day, guys.